Hi, uh, I'm Peter Blake. I'm a co-executive producer and writer on House. And I'm Kathleen Infelter. I am a writer and a producer on House. And together... We wrote uh, the finale, uh, which is called... Moving on. on. I had had a pitch about uh, a performance artist who uses um, their, their treatment um, as a piece. And thematically, we thought that it was um, very interesting to have a patient um, who is not afraid of her pain, that um, experiences her pain in a very public venue, it, and the juxtaposition of that and House, who is, is always trying to um, get away from his pain. After 22 and the, um, <clears throat> the surgery that he does on his leg, we knew that he was still going to be hurt and thought it was interesting to put him in the ICU in a public venue where his pain is on display, um, much like the performance artist, and, um, and that he can't, he, he can't get away from the prying eyes of, of the hospital and, and the people in his life as he tries to process what he's done and, um, and what he's going to do next. So all season we were trying to figure out how to end the season. We, we, we knew that uh, Cuddy and House would break up. We knew that House would not take it well but that he handled his pain in sort of childish ways, like getting married to a woman he just met and, and, and getting a monster truck and stuff like that. Um, and then it would turn dark in the previous episode where he does this uh, 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 operation on his leg. Um, and so in this episode, what we wanted the audience to feel is that House was really trying in an adult way for the first time to... Uh, to address his issues and his pain, and then it, it, he almost does it, but then it all collapses in a very, yeah. very big way at the end. House never really got mad at Cuddy. After she broke up with him, he was hurt and he mm -hmm. was angry, but he never really got mad at her. He was passive aggressive towards her. He had a temper tantrum in Wilson's office, but he never, he never yelled at her, and he never even really had a conversation with her about. Um, about his feelings about the breakup. Mm -hmm. So in, uh, in this episode, he finally does have that conversation with her, and it seems like they, it might work out, that they might be in a good place. This is when they hold each other's hands and, and he says, it's not your fault. But he still hasn't really processed his rage, mm -hmm. and he finally does that when he crashes his car. And I also think, uh, you know, what ignites... The rage. There are two parts. It, we we were very careful and and not trying to any. yeah and yeah. trying to construct the reasons for why he would do something as destructive and um, outrageous as a, as the car crash. And um, you know the seeing um, the performance artist uh, change and and grow emotionally and choose um, Luca over. Um, over necessarily uh, her art, life, yeah. and um, and then seeing Cuddy, who um, has not jumped into another relationship, but is moving on, ha has been able to take a step forward, and it seems easy for other people, and and for House, it's not. It's it's such a struggle, and it's so and just, hard. And he just seems stuck, and yeah. and he unsticks himself by the end. One way to read it certainly is that he has finally moved on, and um, that's why, partially why we put it on a beach, that it's a happy place. Right, he's cast off these burdens, he's, 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 he's released he's addressed himself his from... Anger, finally. He's addressed his anger. But on the other hand... But on the other hand, it's also, um, uh, he's alone, and he's, and he's destroyed he's, his he's life. Really, yeah. So he's is really it... burnt his bridges. Yeah, is it... Is it Regret? Is it yeah. happiness? Is it relief? Is it? Um, and also, it's. It's. I'm sure there's uh, the weight of, of what does he do next? Yeah, and that's going to be. The, that's the question for next season. What? <gasps> season eight. What? What is he going to do?